good to see you guys. It's been a while since the last video, let alone the last Gundam, but oh, it's good to be back and it's great to see you lads. We are starting back up with the Gundam Feract from Witch of Mercury. I think this is the last one in the collection before it's all complete. I have no idea, but without further ado, let's get it going. Minimal stickers. Very nice, very nice. I like hybrids. It's nice to get back into a nice easy piece. For those who join the live stream, usually I do a high grade on a live stream, but it's been a while since I've built a Gundam and I just want to get myself acclimated again with the whole building process. And you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's like only six runners. So this should be a nice smooth build. I'm looking forward to it. It's good to be building again with you guys. I may be a little bit rusty with the editing, filming and all that. So, you know, let me know what you think, but I'm excited. Let's get into it. Okay, that is it for tonight. We have everything cut out, ready to go for the building process. Honestly, there's a lot of pieces that look the same, so I think this was not the move because now it's gonna be a pain in the ass looking for each one, but you learn, you lose, you learn, you win. Don't know what that means, but we'll figure it out. But I'm gonna go to bed because my sleep habits have been absolutely atrocious for the past few weeks. I'm trying to work on it. So I will see you for the actual building. Have a good night, boys. Yokoso, Mina-san, welcome back. It's a new day, we're going to get building, but I kind of messed up. Cutting out all the pieces and packaging them wasn't the move, it just wasn't. So while I was doing applications and school stuff today, I started kind of like picking out all the pieces belonging to the parts and then I got a little bit bored, so I started building. And essentially I built the backpack, the chest unit, the waist unit, and also the head, which I don't think will focus because it is so small. But those are done, so I apologize for not showing you guys the building process with that, but I still have the arms and legs to do. I mean, I'm thinking it's gonna turn out really cool. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys the rest of the build and let's get straight into it. Let's go. Look at this super skinny arm. Oh my god, this is thin. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh my god, I put in the wrong piece. I put in the wrong piece. That's the other thing as well I don't like about the hybrids is when you mess up a piece or put two pieces together and you have to pull them apart, the pieces are so small and they feel flimsy. I don't want to break it. But I mean, this is really tough. Come on, come on. Can you tell it's been a while since I've built a Gundam? Also, here in the US, East Coast, it's like 95 degrees out right now. I don't know why I'm wearing this, but oh, it's a hot one. Oh, oh, ah. oh, this isn't coming apart. This isn't coming apart. Please, 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 please. Oh, it's almost there. There we go. Woo, that was a battle. That was a battle. All right, almost done with the upper portion of the leg. I need to get a decal on this baby right now. I'm telling you, I love 
One, when there's not too many decals, but when they're also easy to put on. Very good. Oh, that's awesome. This little white piece on the like leg guard, it slots in. That that was actually really cool. I like that. All right, now we okay, now we're just assembling the right leg. Now we just have to assemble the pieces. Whoa ho ho, boyos! Look at this thing! That's a pretty cool leg. Okay, I like the look of that. Is that what it's supposed to look like? Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, that is the right leg done. I am absolutely dying right now, sweating. I need to change out of this. I'm gonna go put on a t-shirt, chill out for a bit, and then we're gonna do the left leg, and then that's pretty much it, we're gonna assemble. See you guys soon. Okay, lads, I am back. I have changed into my Demon Slayer shirt. Very sick, very cool. I finished up the left leg. The last leg. So I'm done building. I mean, look at these. Everything is ready to go. I built everything, including the gun. Almost looks like a, kind of reminds me of a mosquito, but that's besides the point. I never really build the saber swords. I don't really like the look of the saber swords for the final look. I just like the main weapon. So maybe that's just my bad personal opinion, but everything is done. I'm going to build everything and I'll meet you for the montage and also, Give my thoughts on the build. I feel like I don't usually do it, so I'll see you real quick, real quick. Okay, so I just finished assembling the Gundam. A few words before I show off the montage, as we always should in a Gundam video. It looks great. I can't wait to put the gun in its hand, pose it, and then show off the final montage. But overall, probably not my favorite build so far. I've kind of come to learn that I'm not a big fan of the high grades just because of the size of the pieces. It feels a little bit flimsy. That's kind of, you know, the price tag that you get with it. At the end of the day, I still had a ton of fun building it, especially after this long taking a break from building anything. Overall, it was a fun build. Hopefully the final outcome of the video itself is pretty good. Editing, filming, all that kind of stuff. I don't think the video will be too long just because to be honest, I built this thing in like what technically two days but realistically only about five hours of work at most. I look forward to showing you guys the final product. Let me know what you guys think of the video and by the way guys it is good to be back. It's good to be back filming, hanging out with you guys. Can't wait to see, we, uh, see what all of you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Max out.